Well, hello, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel and hi if you're new around here. We are starting off the vlog at the end of a layover. It's one of those vlogs where you come back to Dubai with me. But I thought I'd tell you about the flight. I'm gonna balance you there. So I'm actually in LA at the minute and I was here for 50 hours. I was supposed to film it. I actually did stuff and I still didn't film it, but I took pictures. So I'll uh, insert them now. On the first day we got here, we ended up going to the hangar, it's called, near an airport in LA. And we had a few drinks. It was like that IPA ale. If you know me, you know you don't. I don't like that. And yesterday we were gonna go and watch the sunset down by the water. It was cloudy, but we still went anyway. So we went to Oceanside to a rooftop bar, looked over the water, imagined what the sunset would have looked like. And then we also went and seen Top Gun's house, the original house, I think it is. It's bad that I've never actually watched that movie. Then today, I've slept where I could because I'm very sleep deprived and jet lagged right now. And now we're here and we're gonna head back to Dubai. Flight is around 15 hours give or take and for me it's a night flight in terms of my body clock but in terms of where I am it's a day flight going in tonight it's gonna be fine though it's full I'm working in the galley fun fact since I've moved to first class I don't actually enjoy the galley anymore <laughs> I used to love the galley you know I used to always take it all the lounge but since I've moved to first I'd rather be in the cabin and like talk to people and I'm on the break in the middle of the flight so I'm hoping that my flight is going to go nice and fast. I thought I'd start the vlog here because my plan and what you're probably going to see is my post-flight routine because we land at 7 p.m. so I thought it was like the perfect little vlog to film and show you. Anyway you may not have seen LA just know I had a really nice time and let's get back to Dubai. Thank you know. Who I am, am I you know, if I'm not a man, cause I've been caught in between, the masculine, the feminine, what does it even mean, thinking that I am wrong, feel that I don't fit in, words are not big enough to explain who I am, why make it so hard, why I'm falling through, cause that shit ain't true, Tell me why that was the longest day of my entire existence. It was so long. The flight was insanely busy and it, it was busy in like a weird way. It wasn't busy like everybody ate at the same time. It was busy like one person would eat and then they'd just start to finish. And then another person would eat and they'd finish and then another person would eat. It was just constant for however many hours. What was it? So it's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11 and a half hours after my break taken out of it. So yeah, it was a busy old day. Anyway, it's now 9 p.m. I've removed my makeup. I did the quickest makeup remover. I didn't even use my um, LMS cleansing balm because it's in my suitcase. And I don't want to open my suitcase right now. So I just used the micellar water, the Garnier one. And then I'll wash it properly tomorrow. I had my shower and I want some food. And I am not in no means or mind to cook. So I'm going to order a little takeaway. Probably something dirty. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll figure something out though. I'm actually just going to spend the evening. It's a Saturday night, by the way. And this is me, Saturday night, loving my life at 9pm. Um, I think I'm just going to spend my evening reading my book. Because I've not read it for the last few days. And I really want to get through it before I head to London at the end of the month to go for a wedding. I want to finish it before then so I can start a new one on the flight. I know that sounds really trivial but I would just like to do that because I've got a new book already that I want to read and I want to finish this series before I start a new series. Yeah, nonsense to you honestly, it really is. Anyway, I'm going to go figure out some food and get myself cosy. I'm not even going to sit in the living room, I'm going to go straight into bed, well on my bed and just get comfortable, probably ring the fam and then see where the evening takes me. <laughs> I 
wish I could lie and say it's two in the afternoon. Or I've not slept yet. No, that's 2.10 a.m. This lighting is just everything, but hey-ho. It's 2.10 a.m. I've slept. I slept from 10 till about quarter to two. And now I'm fully ready to wake up and do my day. Because in LA, that's three in the afternoon. Jet lag is real. And it's so annoying. Don't get me wrong, I am so tired. Like, I want to go to sleep. My body is crying for me to go to sleep. But I can't. I'm wide awake. I didn't actually end up reading my book before. I literally nearly fell asleep waiting for my food to arrive. And then I ate it, passed out straight away, which obviously is good to do that. Don't I wouldn't recommend falling asleep literally 10 seconds after you've ate some food. <laughs> and then when I woke up just then, I was like, oh, that was such a nice sleep. No, I slept for like, what, three hours? 10, 11, 12, one, three and a half hours. I think this is the part of like my job that people really do forget and I never show it. So welcome to the side of being cabin crew that people don't talk about or they do talk about, but just don't show. Yeah, we all talk about, oh, we're jet lagged, we're tired, we have insomnia, blah, blah, blah. This is literally it. This is the epiphany of it. I've slept for three and a half hours after working. One of the longest days I possibly could and I'm wide awake ready to do my day. We're gonna take it as a blessing and we're gonna sit and read my book. Yeah, because I didn't end up reading before, like I just said, I went straight to sleep. So I'm gonna sit here and read. Ugh. And then hopefully that'll tire me out a bit more so that I fall back asleep. Because obviously I wanna try sleep before enjoying my day to day because it's my day off. And I think I only have two days. I've got today, Sunday and Monday. I think. I need to check that. I probably should know that. See what happens. Obviously, I'll keep you updated. This is unintentionally what I wanted to show you. <laughs> I wish this was made up, but why would I choose to either wake myself up or stay awake till this time? I hope you get what I'm trying to say with that. It's not fun. This angle and this lighting. Basically, what I've learned about filming in my bedroom is I need a light over there so it comes this way instead of like up there. <laughs> first world problems. It really is first world problems. Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? It is now 1.45 p.m. This video has to be up at 4 p.m. So my plan originally was to carry on this video in the morning and just have a slow morning with you, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to because I need to actually edit and upload this video in the next three hours. <laughs> Why am I actually so bad with filming vlogs so last minute? Honestly, I am so bad for it. I need to change <laughs> because this would have been such a good day to film, but I obviously need to upload it today and I know you all shout at me if I don't upload it so I hope you enjoyed whatever vlog you did see. I know it's obviously not the best vlog, it's probably just me just complaining. So what happened was obviously I woke up last night which is what I've seen and then I spoke to my mum and dad and we watched the Tyson Fury fight. I watched it through the iPad which is uh, yeah, not my problem. I watched that which was good because he lost which I think it's the first time he's lost ever. But yeah, I'm kind of glad that I got to watch that because I wanted to watch it anyway. And it kind of worked out well that I woke up unintentionally because I got to watch it. And then after that, I was awake until half four, aim for five o'clock. Then the doorbell rang at 10 a.m. I got a parcel, which I'm hoping I need to actually check if it's me because it's a parcel for the wedding that I'm going to. It's the shoes, so hopefully the shoes fit me because if not, I don't have any shoes and I don't know if I'm going to have time to actually get new shoes. So yeah, that's a whole dilemma I've got to go through. You'll probably find that out in the next vlog. So yeah, the doorbell went and then I literally brought the parcel in, got back in bed and I've just woke up now and I'm very confused at life because I've not slept in this late in so long. 10 a.m. is quite late for me. I've got panda eyes, haven't I? 10 a.m. is probably the latest, maybe 11 I'll sleep in, even if I've landed 
at 7 a.m. I struggle to wake up this late. But, oh my god, I must have needed that sleep. This is the reality sometimes of what it's like flying back from the US. You just sleep at the wrong times and you wake up at the wrong times, but it's great, I promise. Ugh. I'm gonna end this vlog here because I obviously need to sit here and edit and upload it within the next three, hour, three hours. Well, I need to edit and upload it in the next two hours. I've got to get ready because I've got plans today, I think, which is fantastic. So I need to go wash my hair and stuff because this feels disgusting. I hope you have enjoyed the vlog. Do give it a like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!